a powerful force sensitive, trained in his youth as a Jedi Padawan. The boy later known as Bandit never fully embraced light side teachings, instead letting raw emotions like anger and hatred fuel his strength. Though his Jedi Master attempted to warn him of the danger and guide him back to the light, the boy refused, growing ever more distant from the beliefs of the Order. In 3959 BBY, news spread that the former Jedi heroes Revan and Malak, who saved the Republic by leading them to victory in the Mandalorian Wars, had re-emerged as Dark Lords of a new Sith Order, declaring war on the government and their light side protectors. Beginning what was called the Jedi Civil War, the rebellious Bandit was enthralled by the conflict, finally finding a faction that would encourage his natural inclinations rather than demand he fight against them. Taking advantage of this incredible opportunity, the young Padawan abandoned the Jedi Order to join the Sith Academy on Korriban, where he fell further to the dark side and thrived as a cruel, ruthless student of exceptional power, gaining the attention of Darth Malak, apprentice to their leader Darth Revan. Though this new Sith Order was powerful, with a solid long-term plan for victory, Darth Malak grew impatient with his master, believing him weak for taking a measured, methodical approach to conquest instead of all-out destruction for a faster victory. Losing his jaw to Revan in a lightsaber duel upon his first attempt to challenge for leadership, Malak waited patiently for his next opportunity, finding his moment when the Dark Lord's ship was attacked by a Jedi strike team. Arriving just in time to save his master, Malak instead ordered his flagship Leviathan to open fire and destroy them all. Believing Revan dead, Darth Malak succeeded as the new Dark Lord, and following the traditions of the Sith Order, it became his duty to instruct an apprentice. Yet unlike other Jedi and Sith who might teach multiple apprentices at once, Malak inherited the legacy of Revan, who advocated for an early version of the Rule of Two, believing the best results were produced when a master focused all their attention on a single apprentice. Intrigued by the skill and potential of the student who impressed him on Korriban, Malak named him Darth Bandin, apprentice to the Dark Lord, with the title Shadowhand, making him the second most powerful man in the Empire. Constructing a double-bladed lightsaber in the style of Exar Kun, Bandin quickly gained a fearsome reputation, slaughtering many Jedi, including former colleagues. Learning much from his master, rumors even started to spread, Bandin would soon fulfill his destiny by challenging Malak for leadership of the Empire. Satisfied with the progress of his apprentice, in 3956 BBY, Darth Malak turned his attention to stories of the Jedi Padawan Bastila Shan, a powerful young Force user specializing in battle meditation, allowing her to significantly increase the morale of entire armies, giving Republic forces a great advantage in the war. Seeking to end the threat, possibly by turning her to the dark side, Malak found her ship, the Endar Spire, near the planet Taurus, and sent Darth Bandin for her capture. But the Sith was unable to reach Bastila before she escaped, instead finding the soldiers Trask Ulgo and a new recruit suffering from memory loss, who also happened to be the former Dark Lord Revan. During Malak's attack on Revan's ship, his former master was knocked unconscious and all the Jedi killed, save for the Padawan Bastila Shan, who used her powers to save the Dark Lord's life, which under the stress of the situation created a force bond between them. Escaping the ship, Bastila took Revan's unconscious body as well as his mask to Dantooine, where the Jedi Council healed his wounds and gave him a second chance at life by wiping his memory. Granting him a new identity as a Republic soldier, the Council sent him to the Endar Spire under the oversight of Bastila Shan. When they then fell under attack, Revan and his crewmate Trask Ulgo of Alderaan hurried to find Bastila in the escape pods, only to encounter Darth Bandin making his way through the ship. A noble hero remembered fondly by his people, Trask Ulgo changed the fate of the galaxy by charging forward to sacrifice his life against the Sith Lord so Revan could escape. Losing their target but realizing she escaped to the planet, Malak ordered the bombing of Taris, but yet again Bastila fled to safety, this time aboard the Ebon Hawk, accompanied by a number of allies, including the former Dark Lord. Malak next sent Kalo Nord to capture Bastila, only for the famed bounty hunter to be swiftly defeated by Revan. Realizing this mission called for a powerful force user, the Dark Lord sent his apprentice Darth Bandin to finish the job. Eager to face the killer of Kalo Nord and capture his target, Darth Bandin, accompanied by two dark side acolytes, confronted Revan and his companions on the planet Manon. Recognizing the Sith apprentice as the killer of Trask Ulgo, Revan fought with purpose and struck down his enemy, avenging the loss of his fallen shipmate. 
Defeated by Revan, the rise of Darth Bandon was abruptly halted, but even so, the Sith Lord made a significant impact on his followers during his brief time in power, with his most devoted acolytes following his trail to recover his body. Specifically detaching his head and preserving its form through Force Alchemy, a cult arose around the worship of Darth Bandon, believing they could resurrect their revered leader. Eventually, the cult was discovered and destroyed by the Jedi, but they failed to recover the head, which ended up in the Royal Museum of Alderaan, which gifted it to House Ulgo in honor of their heroic ancestor Trask Ulgo. Darth Bandon was also remembered through his lightsaber, which went on to become a valuable Sith relic for many years to come.